Hey, good morning, everybody. My name is Jerry. I'm from Wild Eye, and this is a video I've been wanting to do for a while because the more I've been using SmugMug, the more I have, I want to say, come to believe in it, but understood and understand the value of it for a photographer who wants to share their work online. Now, just to go back, I signed up for SmugMug, must be probably a four, five years ago, a long time ago. And initially I started setting it up. It didn't really get into it, but I just used it because you get unlimited space. I just used it as like a backstop. And then I'm sure a lot of you are the same. I would once every couple of months decide, yeah, I've got to get my website up and running. And then I start working and then it fades again. And then a couple of months later, end of the year, I've got to get my website up and running for my photography. And it just fades again. So The biggest challenge I always had was managing my images from my processing software onto my computer and then onto whatever website I'm using. Now, I've tried a whole bunch over the last 10, 15 years. I've tried a lot of different websites that shows off my photography. I'm currently using two, right? I have a Squarespace website, which is, for lack of a better term, the business side of it, right? That would be the trips I run about me, uh, I've linked all my multimedia, the podcast, the vlogs, the tutorials, everything's on there. But nice as it is, Squarespace isn't 100% ideal for photography. You can make it work and it looks great, but SmugMug over the last while, once I really started understanding how good it is and how it links, and this is the, what I want to share with you guys today, how it links to Lightroom. Now, I'm sure the majority of you guys probably use Lightroom. You might use Photoshop. There's a whole bunch. I've got, literally, I've downloaded like three other programs because I need to learn these things. But Lightroom is my go-to because the, the, the editing is great, but the power of Lightroom is in the cataloging. That's where the real strength of the program lies. Now, in the past, and I'll show this all to you now, I would go into my Lightroom and I would have, obviously, catalog is the top level. Your images live in folders, so each trip has a folder. Yes, underneath that you had collections. Now, my thought was always, I open my Lightroom catalog, I import my images into folders, and then the images, that's my raw files. And I've said this in the past and podcast as well, is if you're ever, if I'm gonna come and visit you, please God, don't show me all your raw files. I'm gonna be bored into the second minute. Show me the selected highlights, the ones that you have chosen out of that grouping that you've processed, that's what you wanna show me. And that's what you want to show people. So I would go through my cataloging process. I've spoken about that as well uh, in many podcasts. And I would then select a bunch of images that I want to process. I would, once they're processed, I would move them into a collection. So I would have had, and I'll show you this now, I had destination galleries in my collections in Lightroom. Stay with me here. And inside each, I would have Svalbard. And underneath Svalbard, 2013, with all the raw, the, the processed images. 2014, processed images, and so on and so forth right? But then I would always still have had to go and export them and then upload them. It just became a mission. And then I might want to change an image on my gallery, which means I have to go up to the website, delete it, go to Lightroom, find that image, export it, upload it to the gallery. It was a ball ache at the best of times. So before we go deeper, let me quickly dive into Lightroom for you here. Uh, I need to open it still. Good planning, Jerry. So while we're doing that, a cup of coffee. Look, smug mug. It's like Inception. Um, so Lightroom is opening here. I just had to make sure all my hard drives are attached. So if I go to my home base for, here we go. So catalog, as you guys know, this is the top level of any, uh, Lightroom system. It has to have a catalog, right? Inside folders. So I've got this hard drive attached and there I have, I've got a folder, a directory on my hard drive called raw 2019 and underneath there, a directory for every trip I've done this year. Now, just as we go into the cataloging, watch this. I'm loving these little tabs of color next to each one. For me, green means it's been sorted, edited, I've deleted my rejects, and they've been added onto my collection, and they're on my website, right? So I've done this one. So I can go right-click, add color label uh, green. So that one's done. I also did Vic Falls can go green. I can also do Svalbard because I've done that. That was a lot of work, but it's done. Amazing place, by the way. So there you go. So if I look at this, those are my folders. Now, let me just show you inside the raw folder for Svalbard. 
here are 4,467 4, images, right? I've deleted the out of focus stuff here, off gone, the repetition. Now, there's a whole bunch of images here. The reason I keep mine is I might wanna do tutorials or videos or workshops where I need that material. But what I do, I start from the top and I go through. I would have in the past, so watch here now, there's collections, if I open this, those are the collections I made inside of Lightroom. So if I open destination galleries, this is what I had, still have. I would then, let's just stick on Svalbard, I would go open Svalbard, and inside there, there are collections. So in 2013, these are the images, as soon as they load, that I processed, sorted, cataloged, and that are currently on my website. Let me choose one that's working, 2016. Right, I'm gonna try again, 2017. Okay, so once these things load, so these images here are the ones that I've sorted and cataloged and did the whole thing, and these are now on my website. So if you came to visit me, I would say to you, these are the images from this trip. And the same would go for South Africa, for example, Madikwe, there's all the years I visited and so on and so forth, right? It is a good system and it still works depending on how and what your end goal is. This is always important. It's still a good system. Enter Smug Mug. So what they have, I mean, you close all of these things. What you get inside of Lightroom, you get publish services, right? I've got Adobe Stock on here. I've got the Lightroom Instagram plugin so I can post straight from here to Instagram. Quite honestly, don't use it much. Eh, not a fan. Prefer to keep it on the phone. And then there's the Smug Mug plugin. Now, Hold that thought. I'm going to take you to SmugMug now. If I go onto the internet, SmugMug.com gives you this. Your vision, your story, your photography, focus on you. This is the website where they tell you what they do. This is basically a website template and a website uh, portfolio for photographers, right? It is magnificent. So you can kind of scroll through here. Uh, I'll add this into the links as well. You can just link straight through there. But I've now gone through the process. I'm going to jump a little bit ahead and I've created my Smug Mug website, which currently looks like this. That's the homepage. I still have to fix my homepage and just do some little, let's call it admin things to it. But here's the magic. I'm gonna click on travel galleries. Like I said, this is not a deep how to, I just wanna show you what's possible. So in my travel galleries, right, I currently have 2019, 18, 17, and so on and so forth, all the way down to 2011, right? These are the galleries that I wanna show people. So if you click, for example, on 2019, it opens up, and this is my choice how I do it. I do a gallery per trip. It's not my best of, I just wanna show you what I saw. That if you're thinking of traveling to that place, either with me or without, you know what to expect. So inside my 2019 travel galleries, I've got Madikwe, Vidkop in Chicago, New York, that was awesome, uh, April, Masamara Sabi, and so on and so forth. If I click through to any of these, let's just choose I um, mean, let's choose Medikwe for now. I click on Medikwe, and that opens my actual gallery of images. These are my raw files that I've processed, edited, that are on the website, good to go. I can obviously click on it, and it shows me the big view of it. It looks amazing all the time, on all devices as well. So if I go back to travel galleries, that's the system. Now, here's the magic, and if you're not paying attention, I want you to pay attention now. If I go back to Lightroom, once I've synced, right, and I've introduced Lightroom to my Smug Mug, and that's an easy process. You actually just go into the Creative Cloud if you're on Lightroom. At the top, check there, and you go into Plugins, and you select uh, Smug Mug, installs it for you from the Creative Cloud, close it, open it, you back in. This happens, Jerry Smug Mug. If I open this, watch this now. These are exactly like collections up here. But the magic is, watch here, 2019, I open this. Here are the galleries exactly like they are on my website, right? I go back here. If I click into, what's a small one? Uh, 19, Cape Town, right? If I click on Cape Town, let me just open this up a little bit for you. There's the images, right, that I processed and loaded from uh, Cape Town. If I go to here and I say, where's Cape Town? Uh, oh, sorry, 2019. It opens Cape uh, 2019, where's Cape Town, Cape Town, Cape Town, there. And there are my images on my website live, sorted in, inside 2019, April Cape Town URL, 
exactly the same as here. Okay, now I want you to watch this. These images have been done right out of Lightroom. I now, for example, want to make a change to my website, right? The images on my website. Let's choose something simple. Uh, let's choose the penguin, right? I'm going to hit V on my keyboard, which turns that to black and white. Because I'm in published services, it moved that image up to the top, which says modified photos to republish because I've made changes. These are the published photos on my website. If I go back here, let's find the penguin. There he is, nice in color, yeah? I now click, because I've synced this thing up, I hit publish at the top, updating published collections. As soon as it's done, this penguin will jump back down because then it's published and updated on my website. Okay, boom, there it is. Now I go into my Smug Mug website, I hit refresh on this URL, there it is in black and white. Guys, this is awesome. This means you can have a real-time dynamic gallery all the time and you manage it out of Lightroom. It is ridiculous, right? I'll show you one more time. I'm gonna undo this. I'm gonna take this penguin back to color. It moves it to the top. I hit publish because I've made changes to this. The same goes for cropping, color, contrast, Nick, whatever you wanna add to that image, it changes, it marks it. It's back now. I go in here. I have to just refresh, and there it is in color again. It's ridiculous. It is awesome. It's amazing. And from a photography point of view, you can do everything inside of Lightroom. Right. Now, let me quickly show you. This is the public face of my uh, Smug Mug website, right? You'll see up here, jerryfinnevel.photography forward slash 2019. That is my gallery, and that is the actual, well, sorry, that's the folder, and that's the gallery, Cape Town, right? By default, if you sign up, you're gonna get, for example, and I have this, jerryfinnevel.smugmug.com. I just add the vanity URL, you buy a domain for something like $10 a year, I chose jerryfinnevel.photography because my other website is jerryfinnevel.com. But once I'm signed in, right, I get to see this at the top. If you're not signed in, I wonder if I have a not signed in version, I don't, sorry. These things won't be here. I can now upload, natively from your computer if you want, but why would you? Because you can do it from Lightroom. Organize, watch this. Inside here, this is now the back end of my website and everything is real time. As you make changes, the website changes. So here, if I go to, the, let's go top level, 2019, 18, 17, 16. Remember, that mimics exactly what happens here. There they are. This is just the back end of it. If I click on this one, January, January, Chicago, New York, and so on and so forth, which is the same, obviously, as on my website, yeah, and which is the same as in my Lightroom. Here they are. So the cool thing here, in the back end, I can drag and drop these around and make the galleries. It's a real-time change. The moment I drop it and I hit done, it will make this change on my website. Super easy, yeah, but I'm gonna leave it there. Um, from here you can manage, and like I said, I'm not gonna go too deep into the how-to, but you can manage the settings for each gallery, the settings for the folders, and so on and so forth, straight from here. Now, just one more time to show you how awesome this is. Let's say, for so inside 2019, I've only got those. Yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let me just double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? And there it is in real time on my website. If I wanted to now, and this is amazing if you're building a portfolio website for online, I can go inside here, I can say right click, this is the same as creating collections. Create a gallery. Let's call the gallery for the video. Uh, if I can spell video. I can do all the settings here which is Smug Mug related, details later, create. Now, if I look here, there it is. For the videos being created, there's nothing in there. Okay, watch. It is not here yet. I haven't told Lightroom to upload yet. Now, let me just go find any random image. I'm just gonna double it up. So let's say, uh, take dancing mongoose, a leopard and an elephant. I literally drag it into there. So inside for the video, my new gallery on uh, Lightroom, which is gonna become a gallery on my website, I now have those images, yeah? I can now right click on for the video and I can say publish now. At the top, what's happening now? Lightroom is talking to Smug Mug and saying, please create this new gallery. Do it inside 2019 travel galleries and upload these images into there. 
It's awesome. Whatever way you decide to manage your, uh, your, your digital assets, your images, I choose to do it trip by trip. These are not my best ofs. This is just to show people this is what I saw, this is what you can see in this place. I still have to go deeper and create my portfolio. If you've listened to the podcast way back, we should all have a working portfolio of our best work dynamic all the time. Okay, but I still need to get there. For now, for the video has been published, it says here, publish photos. If I go back, let's first go to the back end of my website. It's not here yet. Let me refresh. Loading and 2019 travel. There's my new gallery on the back end of my Smug Mug website. Yes, I can drag and drop however I want to do it. If I then say done, it's going to show me on my website what this gallery will look like. This is what people will see. Yeah, so if I go to my live gallery over here, it's not there yet. Refresh. It should pop up at the bottom. There it is. And people can view it on my website and on my mobile device. It is ridiculous. Guys, this system to me has changed the game completely. I had a shitload of work to do when I came back from every trip. Uh, I was about 16 trips behind. If you follow my Instagram, you would have seen. But this system, if you want to quickly pay attention, this is how I did it. I would go into my Lightroom, into the raw folders. Yeah? And I would start from the top. I would... X, as you know, rejects a file. If I go to publish services, I've created this. I can do for the video, and just like collections, I can right click and say, set as target collection. It gets that little plus next to it, which means if I'm busy working in my raw files, let me show you real time. So if I'm working on my raw files, let's say I'm in Vic Falls, and I'm gonna go through and I wanna add this image, for example, to the target collection, I just hit B. See at the bottom? added to target collection. I would then keep going. This is my workflow. No, yes, I would X this one. I would leave that one. I would X that one. Uh, ooh, I like that one, B. And I would keep on, and we joke about it on the trips, B and Xing. B puts it in the target collection, which is gonna be the gallery on my website. X marks it for rejection. It doesn't reject it, it just marks it as a reject. Once I've gone through my raw files, I then dive straight into this which is gonna be a collection, once my way, of raw files, which I wanna process. I start processing them from the top all the way down. If I'm busy processing something, and I think, mm, nah, not that great, I simply hit B while I'm processing it, and it removes it from the target collection or my smug my gallery and, and leaves it in the raw folder. It's beautiful. Once I then get to the end of processing those images, I simply hit publish, and those images become a gallery on my website. It is sick, it is awesome. So that to me is the major win of the Smug Mug integration with Lightroom. And that's the reason all the guys at the Wildlife office is now using this. Uh, once you've set it up and let me know, hit me up in a direct message on Instagram, send me an email, Jerry, fun of, uh, what is my email? Damn it, Jerry at wildart.co.za. I'll put it at the bottom here. Uh, let me know and I'm happy to do a deeper level how to install, how to do the details because you can customize all of this up to a T. Let me finish off with this, talking about customization. So this is what my website looks like live, right? Organize is what I showed you earlier on. That is where I can move my galleries, do the whole thing and so on and so forth. If I wanna change something to the website, there's a whole bunch of templates to get you started. You're gonna to go to customize, choose a site design. And here, Smugma gives you a whole range of different website templates to start you off, yeah? You pick something that you like the look and the feel of, you choose that, and then you go and customize it. So I chose this one, for example. I go in here, content and design, and it opens a very simple, what you see is what you get system. If I wanna mouse over here, it goes red, I click, and I can change details. But if you're keen, I can do more on that later on. So, Smug Mug, I cannot recommend it highly enough it took me a couple of years to get around to actually just getting my shit together, I think, installing the Lightroom plugin and making this work. Trust me, guys, you're all asking about what website to use, where can I? I recommend to every single client of mine on trips, private guided trips, expeditions, everything, you need to have a website for your work. The reason is Instagram is not a portfolio. Instagram, your feed on here, is a random collection of images that you post as and when you want 
or in my case, when I want to show you a story of a specific trip I'm trying to tell you about. It's not a portfolio. If you get a portfolio like this and you manage it out of Lightroom, yeah, you can have Lightroom with your published services collections, i.e. Smug Mug Galleries there. At the end of each trip, you can go through your work, you can choose the best ones, you can process them, put it in that collection, sync it, make it go to Smug Mug, and it closes the process from a purely creative point of view. If you don't close that process after a trip, you're always gonna go back. And I'm gonna do some Lightrooming. What, what, what does that mean? I'm gonna do some Lightrooming. Surely, if you've done the trip, you've done the trip. Unless you're doing something specific, it's finished. Yeah, anyway, so for me, I cannot recommend highly enough that you as photographers get a website and Smug Mug is definitely for me the one to check out. You have to look and check it out and just try it. There's a 14 day free trial, do the installation, just give it a bash and let me know what you think. I think it is absolutely magnificent. Anyway, there it is. Smug Mug plus Lightroom equals awesome. Let me know if you have any questions. Again, my name is Jerry van der Valt on all the social media platforms. My email is jerry at wildeye.co.za and um, I look forward to hearing from you. Happy shooting, happy Lightrooming, happy Smug Mugging. I'll see you in the next episode. My name is Jerry from Wild Eye. Have a good one. Bye. <laughs>